Welcome back to the build of the CR90 Corvette. Um, I've made quite a bit of progress since the last video. What I want to do now is show you guys the side detail for the central section and then also the head. But before that, I just want to show you what I've done so far. Um, I've given everything its, it's basic cover of, of AS20 um, paint. Um, I haven't finished all the detail on these rear engine sections. I still need to add the piping. Okay, I'm going to add up the small wires as well to the sides. That's not part of the kit, but you can add your own 0.5 millimeter copper wire. There will be images in the build document. So I've added all the side detail and um, glued everything in. I have not, like I said before, done these. I want to paint green on them. Um, that's what I've done there so far. And then the central section, <coughs> like I said, I'm going to do. You get the printed parts. I've glued all these on. Um, this bottom section with the with the, with the um, copper or small wire, um, and then the top section with your glued on uh, printed parts, which will be these two, and then your looks like a wire section as well. Okay. Um, so what you're gonna do is your choice. You get your side detail, which is these two. Okay, these are not painted, but they will, will be like a, that color when you get them. Okay, and then your side ones. <coughs> and then the two rear ones, which aren't, which aren't printed, they actually cost. Okay. Um, I'll try and make them thicker, but if they're too thin, add extra thickness onto the back. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them onto these printed parts and I've glued onto this lower section. So they only go one way. Um, the little V part is always on top. Okay, so that is the left hand one. And you've got your right hand one. Okay. If you find these are actually going over the top of this printed part and it's, you're struggling to get in, just sand it down. Okay. And they line up with the edges of these of the lower section. And you see the left hand one of these, I will indicate in the build document, is a double cylinder. So that will go on this side. And then the other one on the other side. Okay, that makes up these edges. Now, if you're not going to have the interior and you want to glue this together, um, it'll fit better because it'll seal up the top and the bottom. Because if it's, if it's going to be disassemblable, like my one, you can have a gap, unfortunately. So, without the um, this being on the body, you can see it fits very well into this area. And if it's on the model and you don't want to glue these in, you can actually just slide them in. So, these, this one can just slide in. And the other one as well, and the same with this one. Okay, you can maybe just put it with some sticky tack or something on the inside. But like I said, for safety's sake, I'm gluing everything on. Now, I'm going to have a slight gap over here because of I'm not gluing it together. Because I want to do the interior to show you guys how it looks. So that's my next job, is to do this part. <coughs> okay, now your, um, your head will require some prep to make it fit properly. The two front detail bits which I've now glued on and put it together. But they come as two separate parts that are quite small. So you need to sand the top and the edges and then just clean out the inside of the top and the bottom um, as in the build document um, for them to fit because that little clip has to go on the inside. The side ones you need to maybe sand slightly down on, on the open part before it clips in. And just use a bit of glue and glue it in. Now these aren't glued on. Okay, this um, power part is actually made to come apart. Um, I got my a single screw, but it's a double screw that goes on top. I just single now for just to hold it in. Um, and I've glued this here in like I did before. And these bottom fins as well. Okay, and then just one little piece I'm missing over here. I need to just print it again. And I put a wire on as well. Okay. So for this head section, um, I'll just show you guys. <coughs> Pull the screw out I'll just take a part over here. Okay. So there we 
Okay, it just slides out. Okay, you see this is all, these are loose, but they are held in. Okay, you can glue them in if you like, if you like. I'm going to do the interior, so I'm not going to glue, I'm going to glue them in. You might have a small gap as well on the front section um, where, the, where the window is. I'm going to have a gap. If you glue it together and you don't do the interior, then there won't be a gap. Um, the basic kit, the main kit, will get the cockpit as part of it. Basically, as you can see, I've glued these in. I did do a little bit of clearing out on this section as well. Um, not too much, but just work slowly a little bit at a time until it fits together. Okay. So once this is done, and then you can start the sides. I'm at whichever stage you want. My next step is to glue the sides in, and then I'm going to start with the paint, and then I'm going to do the red and the green and the yellow squares. The red I'm going to use, I'm going to mix uh, flat red and this this red. What I normally use in the Galactic uh, Vipers, um, it's like a red, reddish kind of color. I will indicate what it is when I do the the paint photos. Because um, it's not a, a, a bright red that's used. I have to play with the colors and see what I can come up with. So I'm going to tape everything off, paint it. And first, I'm going to first put a hairspray down and then paint over the top so that I can do chipping. Okay. Um, what I've done in the meantime as well is I put the whole thing together and I screw the, put the screws in through these and they work very well. Okay, and then I went through the, um, I put one through the top of the fan section. So in here I put a screw over here, screwed right through the whole thing and it screws everything in, including the black ring. And they all well, well together. Okay, so when I come back I'll have the red paint on and all the others and then I'll, I'll show, show some chipping and then I'll start withering. Okay, so that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.